Hey guys, uh, this is WCK aka Hades and today I'm gonna show you uh, how to do benchmarks and what all you need to do uh, need to do uh, to do a proper benchmark session and uh, what are the apps that will help you uh, achieve your uh, so-called goal so let's uh, uh, dig it in so first uh, I'm gonna show you uh, the basic stuff that's uh, uh, CPU-Z, GPU-Z and uh, core temp hardware monitor etc etc that will uh, uh, help you in pretty much everything uh, that's the basic stuff uh, which needs to be there so let's see uh, CPU ID so I will give all the links uh, to what all software I am uh, doing in this video so uh, I don't need to worry about anything else so and all the game benchmarks are standalone versions so you don't need the actual game to run the benchmarks so here it is CPU Z so this gives you the information about uh, CPU pretty much everything about the CPU and almost everything about the memory little bit about uh, other things like GPU and uh, uh, main board as you can see uh, everything is there including cores uh, frequency uh, ST link bus speed voltages so this will help in uh, all clocking so if you are all clocked you can see whether uh, you have set the right things whether it's everything's running fine so uh, this is it um, uh, bus speed is uh, uh, I'm using best bus speed because uh, I don't have a multiplier unlock CPU and this is the memory timings are 888 20 41 uh, I set custom timings and uh, uh, a frequency is uh, 720 is actually double I mean 720 into 2 that's 1440 always keep that in mind so uh, when you see some f oh fuck my mouse 1600 mega 1330 mega what the hell is this so it's just the the half of what uh, your actual frequency is so main board and uh, timings uh, north bridge frequency yes north bridge frequency is uh, also helpful and uh, dual channel triple channel and uh, uh, unganged DDR3 4 GB everything is given and uh, yeah let's see uh, what's further this uh, SPD which shows uh, uh, the settings or manufacturer manufacturer uh, details and this is the GPU uh, core clock memory clock and all that things and this is the CPU's ID about so that's done let's go dig into GPU Z and uh, this is like CPU Z but information is about GPU and uh, everything is there in this about GPU what all you need to need to know about GPUs uh, core clocks, uh, memory clocks uh, bandwidth, filter rate, everything and uh, yeah uh, the whether your uh, GPU can handle computing and all that this is the sensors and uh, this shows you all the GPU uh, temperatures if you have 2 to 3 it will show and all the graphic cards temperatures and uh, you can monitor you can log it if you do games and benchmarks you can log it and you can see settings of different games and all that so it's, it's quite nice and uh, you can see highest settings lowest settings uh, everything is uh, there uh, this is the validation and this is the uh, to post it in forums and all that 
this is the giveaway uh, they do it uh, uh, in every version of uh, uh, GPUZ new uh, brands give giveaways everything like that and uh, see core temp this is the most basic thing uh, as compared regarded to temperature so to show you uh, uh, the current rating the lowest and the highest and uh, core threads uh, okay so I suggest uh, real temp for uh, core ISO users because it's really nice it's really better than and the uh, cold temp and let's dig into hardware monitor this is I think the best there is and best there will be according to me because it shows you all the voltages all the temperature of everything that is uh, need to be monitored like north bridge, south bridge, fans fan speeds, uh, your processor temperature, graphic card temperature, hard disk temperature everything is there from uh, current value minimum and high so it's really nice and uh, what else uh, I'll show you the uh, benchmarks now I think uh, no uh, there's another thing yes uh, specy specy uh, what you like to call it to show you all the detailed information about your thing hardware so as you can see about the HDD is showing w what all uh, is actually there and okay so that's that's the main basic things and uh, that's nice actually so let's go into the benchmarks first I'd like to start with the uh, firmark and I seriously suggest don't use it. It's, this is a warning okay don't use this benchmark if you are not sure if your card is a very good one it, it's like it's all upon luck my luck was bad I did this benchmark for like two to three times and my card is damaged yes it is gone I can't overclock more than 825 on my core clock I used to keep it at 950 to 925 now that's really really bad you know so please don't uh, use this if you're not sure uh, but if you want to stress your car for the max you want to get the max temperature of whatever you want this is the benchmark for you so be careful uh, it's on your own risk man please so I told that in the beginning something happens it's on you uh, I mean if anything happens in the, in this video uh, you are gonna see the benchmarks if anything happens to your hardware or anything you are responsible I'm not so please don't uh, scold me afterwards so this is Prime 95 this is the most best uh, CPU stress test I have seen always uh, keep in place large FTTs uh, maximum power and uh, uh, heat consumption and everything so uh, this is a very good benchmark after you overclock your CPU and you want to see whether it's stable what is right everything is proper so this is the best thing just keep it in place large FTTs click OK running for half an hour if it's stable running for one hour if it's stable run it for a whole 12 hours straight and if it's then stable then you have a rock solid overclock okay so that's over and I use uh, Cinebench 10 and Cinebench 11.5 I prefer Cinebench 11.5 over uh, 10 because it's kinda nice and as you can see I have like tested many things this this is just for testing it gives a score so it's nice whether if if you have all clock from like 3 to 3.2 and you want to see whether it has made uh, any kind of difference so this will make sure that you get what you want as you can see I have run couple not couple like 
couple into four. So that's too much. I tested like three processors here, and uh, that's really nice. So this is a very good benchmark. You have OpenGL benchmark too, so you can test your GPUs. And uh, I have tested two two GPUs till now, and those are the uh, I think um, 4770 and 5750. So uh, we'll see that. And uh, these benchmarks benchmark is nothing but. Uh, a way to see whether your hardware uh, has the power uh, to do things that's it uh, it lets you uh, give your score to compare to other rigs and uh, when you're buying a new rig it helps you very much because you can compare things so you can buy stuff which are good as you can see here this is the OpenGL and there's only 2 FPS difference between the 4770 and 5750 so it's not that much of a good car 5750 uh, it's like hundred and something dollars like twenty to thirty dollars costlier than the 4770 I think I don't know but okay forget it uh, let's see Far Cry 2 benchmark here this is a standalone version and uh, uh this is is one of the best benchmarks that i've seen the uh, best game to be you know uh precise or real i just love this game and uh, the graphics are nice not the best but is close to the best you can set all the settings to high run it get your fps score post it in the forums compete with others it's like nice so other people love to see your scores of your rig so that's nice and uh, windows 7 users or vista users download this core time gadget from microsoft.com uh, sure it helps you uh, see the course getting stressed ram how much you are left and everything oops i started the benchmark okay so that's the Street Fighter 4 benchmark it's not the best benchmark but it is one of the uh, you know uh, funny benchmarks uh, you will know when you run it and uh, this Resident Evil 5 like the sign like the 10 options like the 10 is the best so you can go in that set them settings to max and enjoy the benchmark the benchmark is actually funny I mean you'll see uh, this is super pi and uh, super pi is also nice this is the pi calculation you can google and uh, get the whole details from wikipedia so everyone runs one million so you to run one million because it's common and uh, the uh, lowest uh, time uh, you can get is the actually the highest so that's nice and uh, it's, it is also stress the CPU so uh, I think it's all over uh, I don't have any uh, GPU benchmarks as of now as I, I removed it and as I had didn't, didn't have space before so uh, all those things I will uh, give in the description so you can check it out uh, and some benchmarks that I have forgotten will be there in the description so please 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 check out the description don't forget to see the description description see the description okay so uh, one of the best uh, GP benchmarks are uh, heaven according to me for the active 11 it's really nice heaven heaven 2.0 stone giant and uh, Alien vs Predator Metro 23 is also uh, you know Metro 20 is not a benchmark anyways guys have a nice day and uh, please leave comments